Hi everyone, Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com coming at you with brand new release 2020 Panini Legacy Football 6 box half case number 2 random team break number 2 Let's hydrate the vocal cords a little bit there Alright, big thanks to these folks for getting into the action really appreciate it There are all the teams right there Let's roll it, let's randomize it 3 and a 1, 4 times for each list 1, 2, 3, and fourth and final time. After four, we've got Thomas down to Mike. All right, and three and a one, four times for the teams. One, two, three, and four. After four times, we've got the Los Angeles Chargers. Down to the Falcons. All right, so Thomas with the Chargers and Cowboys, Matt with the Rams, Scott with the Jets, Kyle with the Bills, Gary, you got the Saints, Robert, you've got my Raiders, Las Vegas Raiders, Derek with the Bengals, Tony with the Texans, Connor with the Jags, Daniel with the Dolphins, Philip with the Titans, Kevin with the Giants, Leonard with the Bucks, Ron with the Eagles, Kyle with the Patriots, Ron with the Colts. Steve, uh, SKS, Steven Serb, with the Bears, Robert, Ravens, Kyle, Browns, Karen, Packers, Victor, Seahawks, Ron, Cardinals, Tony, Chiefs, Brad, Broncos, Mike with the Vikings, Mike, Mike F with the Vikings, Mike G with the Lions, Scott with the Niners, Jake with the Panthers, Kevin with the Steelers, Ron with the Redskins, and Mike G with the Falcons. That's right, Robert Tucker, go Raiders. Let's sort by column B. Hopefully this will be a big step, uh, big step forward for the team. All right, sub Rex. All right, so remember in the previous break I marked these box boxes two, so you know that they're from the same inner case. Breaks three and four are in that inner case. Actually, you can see it a little bit better on the top, so only well, can see it on both screens. There it is, right there. That's three and four are there, and that's on the site right now. I'm going to pause the video, and when we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then. Uh, we'll have the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. There were uh, there was really not that much trade chatter, so here we go with the break. Thanks for hanging out with me on a Friday, ladies and gentlemen. There's the final printout to make it official. Appreciate everybody getting in. Remember, in break number one, marked these boxes with the two right here, so you know that they're from the same inner case. The next inner case, next half case inner case break is uh, in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com if you're watching live. And we can do some more tonight. And I think there was a checklist in the chat. We'll be going by that checklist for, uh, for the rookie autos. They're still in their college gear. In this set. Not sure when the first Pro Gear product is going to come out soon, maybe in a couple months. Box one of six. Good luck, everybody. So we'll, we'll go through we'll go through this a little bit more quickly this time. Now that we've kind of got a good first look at it in the previous break, there's Lavisca Chenault Jr. Who people seem to really like as a receiver. That goes to Jacksonville. That'll be for Connor. Jaguars on the board. All 
All right, there's George Kittle at 25. There's Harrison Bryant to 150. All of those will be sleeved and top loaded before they get sorted and shipped out. And there's minis in here too. There's Peyton Manning. You got Tyler Johnson, cracked ice. One out of 10, nice low number on that. Tyler Johnson is a Buccaneer. That'll be uh, Leonard in Tampa Bay. And we've got Desmond Patman. Kind of has a cool autograph. Uh, that'll be for the Blue Horseshoes, Indianapolis. That'll be Ron, Colts. There's a Boomer Esiason to 199. There's Tyler Lockett to 75. Another little mini. Yeah, Tom Brady. Next box, box two. Almost done. These packs are a little bit difficult to open in a speedy manner. All right. All right, let's roll. Next box. We got Peyton Manning to 299. Got an album Camara to 150. And there's Cam Akers. Rookie autograph. I think he is a Ram. He is. Los Angeles Rams. That'll be for Matt Buckler. Nice 
Nice. Some good penmanship, I feel like, in this rookie class. In a broad sense. Relative to the last couple of years. I feel like the overall grade, the average grade, would be better than last year's average grade. Even the guys that's just to sign with two letters, I think, still have a little, there's still a little flair to the two letter autographs as well. So and that's always appreciated. All right, there's Desmond Patton again to 100. And we've got Hunter Bryant from Washington. I, I learned last break where he went, and I've now forgotten. That's Harrison Smith. I know where he is. Cleveland Browns. That's right. Cleveland, that will be for Kyle and the Browns. I'm still in early season workouts. Preseason workouts on learning all those names. There's Tyler Higby for the Rams. We've got a mini Drew Brees, 71 out of 75. And we've got a Terrell Davis to 100 timeless talents for the Broncos, my rivals. I like this under the lights car too. For the Chargers, it's Justin Herbert. All of these rookie cards will ship, of course. Next one. Hunter Bryant. Wait, what did I say? Oh, Harrison Bryant is Browns. Hunter. Hunter Bryant. Lions. Correct. Thanks, Mike Tower. Saving me from disaster. That goes to Mike G instead. Dodged a bullet. feel different. All right. Yeah, there's like there's a little bit of a Ginterish vibe in here, Mr. Mike's eyes for sure. What's going on? There's also uh, there's also tear cards in here, just like a Ginter rip card. Uh, two of would be nice, Dan. Full disclosure, though, we did pull one 
in the first half of this break in the in random team number one, but who knows? You know how correlation can be sometimes. Could be another one. First one was a patch auto, second one could be could be another just regular auto, not non-patch. There's Kennedy and McCoy to one hundred. And the tear cards, the dare to tear cards are one per case, according to Adam S. There's Joe Burrow to 25. Nice. That'll go to the Bengals. That'll be for Derek Bratton. One per inner case or one per master case? There's Grant Del Pitt. Grant Del Pitt is a Cleveland Brown. So there's the Brown for uh, for Kyle. I don't think there's any other Del Pitts in the league. I won't confuse that one. All right, to 150 DK Metcalf. So Adam thinks maybe, he thinks one per inner. I guess we'll find out in a second because we didn't see a tear card in the first half. So maybe a tear card in this half. Henry Ruggs for my Raiders. There's Jamal Adams right there. I could, the Raiders could use a, well I'll bet a lot of teams could use a Jamal Adams, but Raiders could use it from Jamal Adams. Raiders' defense needs a little work. A lot of work. Jamal Adams would be nice. All right. There's Jalen Ragor. Matt DeLeo, what's going on? Yeah, it is indeed Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. Although this is my Thursday. My Friday is until tomorrow. But for... The rest of you, today is Friday, so happy Friday. And we've got a hit. We've got uh, Brandon Ayuk, who I think is a Niner, if I remember from the last break. Yeah, San Francisco 49ers. We had one in the first half of this inner case. That'll be for San Francisco, Scott Corwin. All right, Matt DeLeo's Monday started Sunday. And Adam S. just finished off his weekend. Yeah. I mean, do, I mean in, in, the, in the time of COVID, do, does, do days matter anymore? I feel like they're all just mixed up for everybody. All right, there's Vaughn Miller, Broncos. Tom Brady, just apparently he thinks COVID won't affect him. Just running around. That's Joe Thomas. He is a legend. Three boxes to go. Oh, that's right. Adam works at a supermarket. Be careful, Adam. So, yeah, so for him, it's kind of normal. For Kurt, it's been like Groundhog Day for the last three months. Matt had to drive from New York to Virginia for work, then drove back from Virginia to PA where you live yesterday. Ooh, that's a lot of driving. Although less traffic than, than, than normal. I've, I've felt traffic in LA has crept up a little bit, but it's still... A lot better than 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 pre COVID. No, it still sucks as Matt. <laughs> no, we've gotten a little, we've gotten a little bit of relief out here.
Yeah, Ryan's driving around a lot too. All right, here we go. That's uh, out of twenty-five. On us, I haven't seen this. Oh, that's the dare. That's the dare to tear card. I was like, it's a little thicker. There you go, Cowboys. Eight out of twenty-five. That's Thomas Riffle. It's up to him if he if if he dares to tear. Well, we haven't done the other inner yet, so if it doesn't show up in the other inner, then we know it's one per master case. But so far, one per uh, one per inner. Matt and Matt and Dan want you to rip it, Thomas. That's up to him. Or tear it, I guess. Rips the other company. Panini's calling it tear cars. Dare to tear. Well, he has until up until the time I click end recording. The time that he has to decide. Tyler. Higby to fifty. What? What? Hold on. What are? What's supposed to be inside? This is a retired dare to tear. I don't even know how would how I would tear this open. It's so difficult. I'd have to push and. I guess those minis are supposed to be inside. Yeah. Oh, mini cards supposed to be inside. That's what that's what Dan's saying. That's what I was. That's what I assumed. Um, I mean, what are the mini possible? Do we know what the mini possibilities are inside those tarot cards? Besides the yeah, they're maybe short printed if you're lucky. Are there any autograph minis? There's CD Lamb. I see the lamb cowboys, I think. Yeah, Dallas Cowboys, that'll be for Thomas Riffle, another cowboy. It's out of 49. CD Lamb. Dan says what? Short auto short print, one of ones are possibilities. Brad L saying one inner oh it's one per inner case, he Brad saying, according to him, features exclusive mini or exclusive emerald mini parallels. Interesting. Oh, Mr. Mike Taylor, what's that? A Star Wars set? No, I've not heard about any Star Wars set. None that we have on for group breaks. Maybe it's on the Personals channel? With Ted? At Jaspie's Breaks on Instagram is our Personals channel. Instagram live only. So these and Emerald, huh? CD Lamb again. Matt DeLeo saying no CD playoffs for the Cowboys. Is that the word around the NFC East? Is that what they're saying? And there's Lynn Bowden Jr. for the Raiders. One of the... We got him. Henry Ruggs. Brian Edwards. A few playmakers for Derek Carr. It'll be interesting to see how all these guys are deployed. How they'll adjust to the NFL. The speed of the NFL. So on and so forth. Hopefully sooner rather than later. We gotta get the team used to seeing LV Raiders. <laughs> All right, and that'll be there. You go, Robert Tucker. You're welcome, man. I feel like Kentucky fans have reached out to me and been like, "Hey, you got a great player. He's exciting." I think he. I think the Raiders are actually going to use him as 
a sort of running back to RB2 from, I, I, from what I've been reading. I think that could change once things get going, but I feel like they might just kind of ease him in as a sort of special teamsy guy, a an RB2 to kind of give Josh Jacobs a little bit of rest, and maybe Lynn Bowden Jr. can do some exciting things here and there. So I think that's what they're that's what they're going to kind of use him as, which I think would be great. You know, and then I think they can use. And they got some. They got some speed. They can stretch the field with Henry Ruggs. They've got a kind of a, kind of a bigger, sizable receiver with Brian Edwards. I think they still have. They still have some. They've got Tyrell Williams, a healthy Tyrell Williams. I still like a lot, especially if he has room to operate. Like like he did when when both Keenan Allen and Tyrell Williams when they were both healthy and rocking. And uh, for the Chargers. So that, that was pretty exciting. So Tyra Williams still has some great value. I think Zay Jones is still in the mix, too. People still like the Zay Jones. And then, of course, Darren Waller. And a couple other pass-catching tight ends there, too. And the Raiders have a solid offensive line. So this is it's really a kind of a... kind of a put-up-or-shut-up kind of year or two, I think, for Derek Carr. He's been doing fine. But this is definitely the year where, where I think he's now expected to take this offense to another level and maybe determine whether he gets another contract with the Raiders or not. I think he still has three or four years left on his extension deal. There he is again, Lynn Bowden Jr. Lynn Bowden Jr., apparently he can throw too. So there, could be some, there could be some trick plays. There's Cole Komet. You know what? I have no idea, Robert. I'll have to ask Nick about those about those combo teams. All right, Cole will go to the Bears. That'll be for SKS. Got Jameis Winston. Five out of ten. Nice low number there. That's still Buccaneers edition of Jameis Winston. And that's going to go to Leonard. Got Deshaun Watson, 43 out of 75. Is this, are we, are we, is this live? NBA schedule release is coming up soon? Yeah, it's the it's those boomer bust packs, Ryan Harold. That sold out actually a lot faster than I thought it would. Nice. We might have some on the personal side. Check it out. Ooh, this is a nice dual relic and autograph. What's that pattern there? Is that an, uh, it looks like an anchor. That's pretty cool. Nice. Keyshawn Vaughn. 248 out of 299. That's a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. So that'll be for Leonard and the Bucks. Nice. Is that what they say? The Commodore of Vandy anchor down? I, I think that's the first. I, I mean, I don't follow college sports too closely, but I think that's the first time I've ever heard that. 
Josh Zetz Bowden is from my hometown of Youngstown, Ohio. He's a legit athlete, can do anything asked of him. Yeah, that's good to hear. Guess what, Josh Zetz? Trivia, I don't know if we've talked about this before, but I was born in Warren, Ohio. But I can't really claim Ohio. My parents moved out west maybe a year or two after I was born, so. All right. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited about Lynn Bowden Jr. I think he, he can even throw the ball a little bit too. So um, maybe some trick plays could be, I could see some sort of sweep and he gets the ball handed off to him and maybe he throws a Throws a bomb to like Henry Ruggs flying down the line or Tyrell Williams, something like that. So I think John Gruden's going to have a lot of fun coming up with plays for him. Just throwing these cards around. Sorry about that. All right, oh, this is the last box. Good luck, everybody. This is Random Team 2. And uh, break 3 and 4 is in the shop right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com, if you want to run back that second inner case. So we've got a brand new release there to work on, ladies and gentlemen. Josh Jacobs, nice. Are you numbered? You are, that's to 50. We'll sleeve that up and ship that out to the Raiders. We've got Yeter Gross Matos from Penn State. And he is a Carolina Panther. So from a, from a lion to a panther, this will be Jake with Carolina. Dan Nelson, do we have a lot of uh, backyard fires using all these base cards? No, we don't. Dan, guess what we do with the veteran commons? We gather them into 500 count boxes, right? The little fold over count, 500 count boxes by sport. And then we sell them in the shop, and all the money from that goes to various charities. Children's Hospital LA, LA's Best, an after-school program, and a couple other charities that we like to support. Why burn them when we can sell them and help people? All right, 29 out of 75, Devin Duvernay. Eventually, we'll have some of those uh, being able to, to, to sell, uh, well, eventually we'll be able to sell uh, those on jaspies.com on our retail website. Yeah, there, yeah, Chase and Butcher, yeah, Warren, Ohio. There's, there, there's, there's pictures of me to prove it. I think in the family, the family photo albums, uh, Jersey autograph, Jacob Eason. At a, at a 149 right there. I think I have some pictures of me sitting uh, in some, in a nice field, a lot of open space. Colts for Jacob Eason and my Oshkosh Bagash overalls. All 
All right, Cam Akers. Jordan Love to 299. And that, my friends, is that. Let's slide these base cards over here. All right, so no word from Thomas on the uh, Dare to Tear card. So it's going to stay like that. And we got a pretty solid break out of here, I want to say. Lo love that anchor pattern in the background there. Nice Lynn Bowden Jr., C.D. Lamb. Some good stuff. Thanks, and that was an out of 10 Joe Burrow. Cam Akers, some Cracked Ice. And LaVisca Chenault Jr. right there. And there you go, boys and girls. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.